Hey, welcome back to the cabin. Um, today I'm gonna set up my new chainsaw. Um, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that uh, the, the chainsaw I currently have is struggling to cut some of these big trees that uh, that have fallen on the property. So what I'm gonna do, uh, what I decided to do is buy a chainsaw from Amazon. So the one I bought was a, it's called Supmix. It's a 62, well they say it's a 62 cc chainsaw. So um, I just thought this sort of mid-range um, chainsaw might be enough just to cut some of these trees I've got on the ground. So um, I picked it up on sale because of Amazon Prime. So I think the chainsaw set me back 187 bucks Canadian. So uh, let's crack this box open and set it up. There it is, sup mix. Right, let's get this open. Okay, there's the bar. So, zooming, that's the tool bag. So, there's the clutch guard, there's a funnel, and there's a chain. I don't know if this is sort of be, it says stuff or stuff, looks like a still knockoff, but anyway, put that there. And there's the, uh, the manual still back there. Get the saw in. are pretty much down now up at the cabin. Uh, most of the leaves have fallen off the trees. It's still looking lovely though. Okay, this is a saw here. Right. I noticed the start button. It's just like a... It, it doesn't look very... It doesn't look very um, reliable, but anyway. It's... Uh, Let's get it. Let's get it together here. Set it up. Oh, the plastics are not too bad. I mean, it, it's not as cheap as I thought it would be in terms of like, you know, the how it presents and stuff. Um, okay, let's just let's just put this thing together. Okay, let's have a look at the tool bag. See what you get. So you get a file. You get a looks like a, an Allen key for the dog. Spare spark plug. Paint tiny. Okay, let's put the dog on. It's not bad actually. It's not. It doesn't look as cheap as I thought it would be. Gonna tighten some of these other screws up as well because uh, they're a bit loose. Okay. 
best just to tighten it up and make sure everything's okay before we start it up. Okay. Okay, let's put the chain on. So it's a 20 inch bar which is uh, pretty good. Sup mix. What a name for a chainsaw. Sup mix. Sup mix. What else do you got? You get a spark plug as well. Put some stuff back. Let's get the uh, knockoff steel chainsaw out. Well, it looks half decent actually. So you tighten the chain on the front here. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm gonna have to screw that out. It's gotta go back. Just, just tighten it up just a little bit, just so it's snug. Mix. What a name for a saw. Stop right in right down here. I think once I start it up, let it oh there she goes. The chain's gonna come loose it anyway, so I'll get it going and then once it's going, I'll let it run, sort of break in a bit, and then I think I'll just tighten the chain again because I think it'll once it starts going it might stretch a little bit. Right. Okay. We'll mix 
some gas up. Jerry can. Okay. So I'm assuming. Let's have a look here. We'll mix it up. Twenty-five to one. Twenty to one. So there is a little line. So you put the two-stroke oil in here and then there's a little line there and then you put your gas in on this side so it so it lines up with the oil and then you just mix it around and you're good to go I'm assuming so let's just fill this up it doesn't take long to set it up actually um, Right, just gotta go over there by my generator and get the petrol gas. I pay a bit extra for my gas and I don't I get the gas with no ethanol in it because that stuff is terrible for two-stroke engines I mean it gummies up the carburetor and stuff so I pay a bit extra and get the stuff with no ethanol in it because it does pay off in the long run um, I mean I run my quad bike on that stuff as well I mean, I'm only using this now. I've got another jerry can, which I use for my chainsaw. So I'll probably um, mix a big batch up, but I'll just do this for now, just to get it going and just to try it out. This is really cheap actually. Um, as I said, I'll sort out my jerry can once I've done that, but it's already leaking already, so. Yeah, it doesn't even stay on properly. It's just cheap. Just get all this oil in here. Okay. Might have lost some gas on there. Okay, let's just gas this baby up and then see if she starts. I mean, there is a funnel, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to pour it in. Is good on this thing. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a, a little window there that tells you how much fuel you have in your chainsaw. That's good to know because when you're out there cutting your trees up, 
you know, at least you'll have some sort of indication, you know, how much gas you got left, um, which is good. Let's just put some chain oil in. Okay, that's on this side. I use the funnel for this, it's a bit tricky. It's not bad the weather today. I think now it's probably about 11 degrees. Um, I think we're getting rain tomorrow though. Okay, that'll do. Well, I noticed it doesn't have a little plunger, you know, to put some fuel in the carb. Um, my old chainsaw has that, but this doesn't have it. So you just pull the choke out, I guess. So it's on. Let's just give it a go and see what happens. It's loud. It's louder than my other chainsaw, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'll tighten the chain up now. But uh, yeah, it's, it didn't take long to set it up, and it seems to run okay. Um, it seems to be idling a bit, bit high. I'm, I might see if I can find the uh, just to see if I can just turn it down a bit. Okay, so that's a submix 62cc chainsaw. So I think the next step is to um, get out there where my trees are on the ground and start cutting them up and see how it uh, how it cuts. You know, see how how long I get on a tank of gas. Um, but putting it together is pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know if I like the on and off switch. Um, it looks pretty, uh, pretty cheap. I mean, I mean, it is a cheap saw, right? I mean, it's just a Chinese knockoff, but um, for the money, we'll uh, we'll see how it performs uh, tomorrow when I get out there and start cutting some of these trees. My first impression, I'll check the brake as well and see if the brake works on the chain. Um, says it weighs 5.2 kgs so maybe 14 pounds 13 pounds it's not that heavy actually seems well balanced okay 
Okay, so that's a sub mix, 62 cc chainsaw. So tomorrow we'll have a go, and then um, I'll I'll let you know what I think. Um, but I'll do a proper review once I've done burned quite a few tanks of fuel on it, and I've cut up quite a few trees, and I'll see how the chain is. As well, I, I mean I don't know what the train chain's going to be like until I start using it. Um, but uh, okay. That's a sub mix, so I'll I'll let you know how it uh, performs. Cheers.